So the other day, um, I do what I like to do as far as um, just kind of driving the countryside. Yeah, that way you can see a lot of new things and the, um, when new plant life comes up, you get to see it um, as it grows. So I had this brilliant idea of uh, just seeing what is the most dominant plant that I could find. And the plant that uh, you see behind me here is the most dominant plant that I could find and of course it's dead but I thought well we'll just see what we can do with it as far as uh, resourcing the things on it and I happened to pull it out of the vehicle and I had sap on my hands so one of the cool things I wanted to show you is the sap that uh, it creates which is kind of cool for me because we don't have uh, <coughs> natural pine trees in our area. Um, so you can get a good look at it here. I don't know the name of this plant. I have a kind of a general idea. Um, I'll have to look it up uh, what I think it could be. And that's how I do plants sometimes. I like to kind of guess what I think it could be and then actually figure it out. And it's easier to narrow it down that way uh, sometimes. But uh, let's go here, we're going to have to get a close-up of it here. You see these, uh, like right here, and here. These are all sap coming from it. We're going to collect what we can off of this plant. Oops, I don't know if you can see it very good. What we can off this plant, and uh, do a burn test on it. See if it kind of burns like, uh, well, sap from a, from a uh, pine tree. We'll get that done. Uh, I'm just going to use my pocket knife for today. And uh, once I get enough collected, which it isn't going to be a lot because I only have two of these plants, I'm sure you would have to take and uh, collect a few of them. I don't know if you can see that nodule because there's so much white behind here. But we'll collect that and uh, I'll, I'll get back with you. So this is the pile of uh, pieces that I got off, got off of it. Um, just got it on a cookie sheet because I'm in here in the house. Uh, it's an old cookie sheet that I did get permission from my wife to take <laughs> and use. But I'll just pile it up here and I'm going to do a burn test on it. <clears throat> My hands are definitely sticky from this, uh, from all the resin. And it smells just like pine uh, resin. It smells just like it. It's got a lighter. See, it lights up fairly well and it's sooting or sitting. I don't know if you can even see that. Here, let's see if we can back off a little bit of the zoom. So you can see the soot come off of it. So it's sitting just like um, just like pine wood. Now we're gonna put that out. I don't want all the smoke in the house. <laughs> I think the wife would like that too much. Well, maybe we'll put it out. Had a hard time starving the oxygen of this puppy. That burns good. All right, we got it out. I don't think I'll be playing with that right now, but <clears throat> once that uh, hardens back up, should have a usable form of some sort. It's pretty clear. I mean, there's a few uh, spots in it that are dark, um, and I don't know. Maybe you can use this for hafting uh, arrowheads and things like that, uh, or glue. Uh, just something to think about. Um, I don't know guys, 
I do challenge you to go to your area from where you're at and find the most abundant plant that you can find and see what uses it, it has. Um, I think I just kind of got lucky with this one, at least for me. Um, like I said, because Kansas doesn't have pine trees with all that nice sap and uh, whatnot. We got a barter trade or um, hopefully somebody just sends you some. <laughs> anyway talk to you later so I found uh, two pieces of information on the plant that I think it is and these are common plants of, of uh, Kansas and I think it could be this one here I think it's pronounced Maximilian uh, sunflower uh, I got another picture here I'll show you this is just a pamphlet that the state provides of different common plants uh, of our state. But anyway, I thought I'd show you that to give you an idea of what it kind of looked like, I believe. I mean, obviously it's just a hypothetical because I can't see the flowers uh, right now. I'll have to wait until August to September. <laughs> which that's when I remember about that plant uh, growing so anyway thank you